Now, we've had an email from Steve Burns, our Big Pond Sport email question this weekend. We're always talking about trim and mixture and economy in the telecasts. What does it all mean? OK, to find out a bit more about that, here's a story from Mark Larkham, who explains what this whole trim thing's all about. I'm standing inside this beautiful workshop here, which is actually KRE race engines. Now, Kenny McNamara, owner, good friend of mine, used to actually work for me, ripper bloke, but more importantly, has the huge responsibility of managing the entire Team Vodafone engine program. Now, I want to have a look at how that interfaces with this issue of economy we've been talking about. So what I've done, so I've actually nicked Jamie Wink up steering wheel while I was over there. And look at this, this is the trim switch that we often talk about. Most teams have this on their steering wheel now. And it's got four settings, one, two, three, and four. Generally speaking, you take about 2% of fuel out for each setting. So that means you can take up to 8 or 9% of fuel total out of the engine when you're looking to run really lean. Now I can tell you, that's not good for anything or anyone other than getting good fuel economy. Bad news for cost. So how does that work in here? Well, we're in a dyno cell. So we're in Kenny McNamara's. Here's Kenny. Thanks for letting us in, mate, and having some access. This is a dyno room. This is a dyno cell behind this door. Have a look. There's a Team Vodafone engine sitting on there ready to roll. Now, what's really important to note here is you've got to try and simulate the engine as it would be in the race car. So this is the most important thing, controlled airflow into the front and this is the air box off the race car. So it simulates what's going in and just as important, the exhaust pipes, exactly the same as the race car and the muffler, same as the race car, going out. Here are what are called the lambda sensors, the sniffers. These will measure the burnt fuel-air mixture ratio coming out of the engine. And that tells us a lot about what the driver's doing on the steering wheel and the impact it has on the engine. So, Kenny, let's pull the string, as they say, in the business and listen to this thing sing. So what Kenny will do is run it up to 7,500 RPM. That's the maximum RPM that V8 supercar engines allowed to go to. And if you look on here, you'll see here's our torque reading. And here's our power figure coming up. That's where they cross over. 7,500 RPM. Absolutely beautiful. Now, the consequence of running lean is an expensive one. These are typical V8 supercar pistons. They'll last three or 4,000 kilometres, no problem. But once you start running lean, looking to get that extra bit of mileage, what happens is this. We're seeing this. Look, the piston ring actually melting itself into the piston. Now that's bad news because that coupled to valves being hot, the block getting hot, the heads getting hot, is very bad for engine costs. It's something we need to be on top of in V8 supercar land. Now if we have a look at some of these figures that Kenny's taken, those sniffers that I was just showing you, here we are. So around the 0 0.85, 0 0.8, this red one is where you would normally run your car. That's fine. When you go to that number three or number four switch on your, on your steering wheel, you get up into this 0.95 region. That's danger territory. Now, more importantly, is what happens to engine power. You're out there trying to race. Look at this. So this is the difference between those two settings. You're talking 10, 9 or 10 horsepower across 5.5, 6, 6.5, 7, 7.5. That's the entire range where you really want to be able to use your V8 supercar engine. So there's nothing great about this, I can tell you. We need to get on top of it. But more importantly, forget all that. I just want to hear this engine sing. Let's give it some 10. Mark Larkin reporting there. There you go, Steve. Hopefully that answers your question about the whole business of economy and trim and all the rest of it.